Happy New Year, everyone. It's officially 2020. The decade has just flown by. I just have no idea how we got here. But here we are nonetheless, and I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that I've been working on and some personal goals of mine. A little bit later in the video, I'm gonna try on for you some of my new favorite January Fabletics outfits. And at any point in the video, feel free to click on the link in my description box, which will take you to the Fabletics page where you can get a really great offer right now. But first, let's talk about goals. I'm a very goal-oriented person generally, and I like to set goals for myself and then hold myself accountable to achieving them. But sometimes I feel like there's just unnecessary pressure that can be put on you when it comes to achieving a goal or fulfilling a resolution. So I wanna sort of wipe out that mindset of I need to achieve this or I've failed and instead just see it as this is something I'm working towards and I can kind of do it slowly and steadily. The two things I'm thinking about in specific are learning to do a handstand as well as learning to do a split. First and foremost, I just wanna tell you my mindset entering the new decade and that is New year, do you. Whatever that means to you, just do you. If you really are inspired to get out there and move your body, then get out there and move your body. If you're feeling like you'd rather rest and relax and recharge, do you and stay at home. I think a lot of times we just look past what intuitively our bodies are telling us to do because we feel like we need to do whatever society is expecting of us. But sometimes you internally and in your gut just know what's best and know what you need. And oftentimes if your gut is telling you to just sit on the couch and relax, you might actually need that relaxation to function and thrive. I'm feeling especially recharged going into this new year. I'm about to leave for my honeymoon. And there's been a couple of fitness related things that I've been working on through my yoga. I do yoga a couple times a week, usually with my sister at a studio nearby, but I also have been having a private yoga instructor come to my apartment to work with me personally because I want to improve my strength and flexibility. I think I've said this on Instagram TV before, but it's very important to have a teacher. These people are licensed professionals. They know exactly what they're doing. And if you just try to do yoga from maybe watching someone do it on Instagram, it can be dangerous. You can actually hurt yourself from trying to get into these really cool and interesting poses if you don't know what you're doing and you're not doing them correctly. So that's been something that I personally invested in this year, the opportunity to have someone come with me, work with me one-on-one -on -one in my own home. So let's talk about handstands. This has been a goal of mine for quite some time. I just can't seem to do handstands. I can actually kick up into them if I have momentum and if I'm just like thrusting myself forward, but what I can't find the strength to do in my core or maybe it's my arms is to just stand still and kick up into a handstand. I guess it would be called kind of like a floating handstand where you're not using any momentum to hoist yourself up, but you're just gently leaning your shoulders forward over your wrist and then slowly kicking up into a handstand position. This is something I've been wanting to do for the longest time. Time, and I think the main way to practice this is actually to put your hands down, orient your wrists so that they're directly under your shoulders and kind of move your hips so that you're getting your hips directly over your shoulders. It's difficult to put your hips directly over your shoulders because it's uncomfortable. You feel like you're gonna topple forward. So if you're trying this pose right now and you're scared, same. It's scary. I would recommend doing it in front of a wall because odds are you might actually fall forward. I've been trying to do this one for a while now. The issue is I haven't been consistent. So starting right now, I'm gonna be consistent. And I feel like it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you get the hang of it, you don't ever lose the ability to do it. So it's just about practicing until I can do it for that first time. And onto the split. I think this is the same situation. I think once you can do a split, you can always do a split. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone out there used to be able to do a split and now can't, please comment below. The thing about splits is that I used to think that splits were something that you were born with the ability to do. I thought some people's legs just do that, they spread wide no matter what direction, their hips are open, I don't know what I thought. As I've asked more and more people about this, I've learned from people that it's not something that you're born with. It is a skill that you can hone and practice. So, I don't know why, but doing a split is Basically my number one goal of the moment. I remember saying to people all the time, oh, I wish I could do a split. Okay, Lucy, so if you wish you could do a split, then practice. I have been pushing myself, I've been stretching myself out with my yoga instructor. She knows that it's something I wanna do and she's made a couple of IGTV videos sort of teaching people how to do a split, so she guided me towards those videos and I've been working on the stretches in bed at night. I've just been working on it in my free time and I'm getting closer and closer, but I'm not quite there yet. If anyone out there is amazing at splits and knows how to do them and learned, so wasn't just naturally always able to do it, 
please let me know what you did. And I'm gonna keep practicing this and down the line you might see a YouTube video where I practice and practice and hopefully achieve the split. Let's pray for that. If it doesn't happen though, I'm really happy that I'm pushing myself and getting myself to try these things that I've been saying I wanna try and that's really all that matters. New year, do you. So on the topic of achieving goals and specifically fitness related goals, let's talk about Fabletics. They have the absolute cutest clothes in the world. I'm telling you, I get nonstop compliments on these clothes. I also don't only wear their clothing to work out because it's cute and comfortable, so I wear it if I'm just lounging around the house. I wear it sometimes to go meet my friends for breakfast or lunch. A lot of their jackets and their outerwear items are really cute for any single day in winter, and I'm frequently surprising people when I tell them that the coat I'm wearing is from Fabletics or that the comfy pajama pants I'm wearing are from Fabletics. So what I wanna do right now is show you some of my favorite items from their January collection, and in the description box, you can get two leggings right now for $24 by becoming a VIP. First and foremost, before I start picking up the clothes I have here, I'm wearing a Fabletic set. These are the high-waisted power hold leggings in persimmon, and I've paired it with this Flora Seamless long sleeve top, also in persimmon. I'm a total sucker for matching sets. I just think it makes the entire workout look come together and look like it's one adorable unit. My next favorite matching set is kind of in the complete opposite color direction, and it's pure white. These are the dynamic high-waisted lattice leggings. This mesh and lattice detail on the lower part of the leg is really cute and really stands out on the legging. And I love pairing these leggings with this white Pia front twisted long sleeve top. So soft, really, just light and airy. I love the way this set looks together, the white on the top and bottom, it just gives you an overall snow bunny effect, which I think is super cute for winter. And if you wanna be even cozier, but keep up the white theme, this Sydney twist front hoodie is a really cute compliment to that twist front top, and it's got a hood. The quality of the Fabletics clothing is just unbeatable. It really has never torn for me. My next favorite piece. These are some of my favorite sports bras from Fabletics. This is the Poppy Seamless Sports Bra. A lot of people are so intrigued by these because it looks like you're layering two sports bras on top of one another. You have this light purple color on the bottom and then a dark purple color on the top, but it is actually connected, so if you pull this dark piece down, you'll see it's just all connected right here. The detailing on the back of this is really cute. I just love the way the two sports bras have different backs, so they cross in an interesting way, makes it look really nice. And personally, because I love matching sets, I would match that sports bra with this high-waisted Power Hold logo legging. It's the same color, and it has this Fabletics logo running down the side, and it really matches the band on the sports bra, so it ties it all together, and you've got a cute matching set. Up next is this vivid purple outfit. Depending on your definition of purple, this could be seen as sort of pink and sort of purple. And of course, I've got two pieces. This is the Trinity Mid-Rise Pocket Legging, and there's a really adorable detail on these. There's pockets that are mesh. There's sort of like this lattice detail here that creates three different pockets of sorts layered on top of one another. And it's the perfect size to fit a phone, so if you wanna listen to music on the go and you don't wanna take a bag, this is great. Same deal with the Trinity High Impact Sports Bra. I'm obsessed with this detailing in the center of the back. It is just the perfect place to pop a phone into the middle of your back and go for a run, and now it's not even affecting your hips or anywhere near your legs. I'm always just amazed by the details and like all of the amazing fabrics that come together to make this such an intricate piece of clothing. They're coming out with new designs all the time and they're all innovative and they're all really thoughtful. The last set I wanna show you is this dynamic high-waisted lattice legging in purple. Very similar to the white one I showed you earlier, except this time the mesh has this darker purple detailing with the lattice. And this is only on the lower half of the leg, so I think it's the perfect amount of pop for this look. And this Cashel Midi Logo Sports Bra is adorable on the top. It basically has a built-in bra underneath, so the top is just sort of a general sports bra, and then it gets looser and more meshy towards the bottom. It's not mesh, but it kind of feels like mesh. And then you've got these strings on it that you can pull and sort of cinch up the sides and get this really cute look on the sides. And once again, it's kind of the softest thing I've ever felt. 
So yeah, those are just a few of my favorite Fabletics pieces from their January collection, but they have new pieces every single month and I've been wearing them for about three to four months now and I'm telling you, everything is cute. Fabletics is one of my favorite brands in the entire world. I was so grateful when they asked me to be a brand ambassador earlier this year. They're an amazing company with such an amazing mission and one of the things that I can really get behind and feel good about when I'm working with them is that they're so size inclusive. They make clothing for women of all body shapes and sizes and not every clothing brand does that, especially when it comes to activewear. And every single person with every single type of body deserves to have cute clothing to work out in and to feel good and feel their best in. So I'm so happy to be supporting Fabletics and to be sharing them with you. If you click on the link in my description box and sign up to become a VIP right now, you can get two pairs of leggings for just $24. I mean, that's a total steal, so worth it. You're gonna love the clothes. And I'm really excited for some comments below to see what your goals are for 2020 and to know how you are doing you. Remember, this time of year can be very stressful. There's just a lot going on and I just wanna remind you, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Create goals for yourself that you can attain slowly and steadily and get a friend or an accountability partner or someone that can help push you to make sure that you are on track as the year moves on. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy holidays. I'm sending you all the love in the world right now and I am off to my honeymoon. I'll still be posting videos throughout the month of January, but I am far away. Head to my Instagram right now to see where we are and I'll talk to you soon. Love you, bye.